Now I want to quickly cover drip outlet tool. We have the ability to pick the type of pipe that we want. I'm going to use a NetFM CV tech line. We have our standard drip line mode, which is just a straight drip line based on what we need. If you want to do series of runs, you can do series of runs and connect them together. That works. However, we tend to define plant beds. So we can come in over here, use this mode. This is where we can define, actually, let me change that here. We can define our plant bed. Maybe I have an irregular plant bed shape. Maybe this is around a house, around a building, whatever. And it will automatically determine the line that we need and place everything in. Now, let me show you what else this is doing over in the OIP. This is based on two foot row spacing. Now, I could change this to four foot if I wanted to. I don't know why we'd want drip tube in at four foot spacing, but we could. Let's do it back to two foot. But it's also telling us our estimated length. We can start to see what happens. We could override that if we wanted to. Our trench depth is set to zero. We're not connected to any kind of a system right now. And we can also change this from the catalog to determine what we want. Here's our tech line. That was emitter spacing at 12 inch. Maybe we want to run 24 inch tech line at a 0.2 gallon. And there we go. It'll adjust that. It'll calculate everything out. We're good. Now, a few other pa basic pieces are we've got direction point, connection point. Let's take this connection point. Let's pull this out. And our direction point is more of a graphics piece. But if you wanted your line running at an angle or in that direction, that would work great. Um, that's really what that's about. And our connection point, we can tie this in to a main line. Oop. We're going to need a valve first, of course. So let's go ahead. Let's select a zone kit from Hunter. We're good. It's telling me how many gallons per minute I am using. And then let's go ahead and drop the main line. And then let's go ahead and put a point of connection in. And there you go. What's nice about this is this will adjust based on how we modify. So let's go ahead. Let's just move this line and uh, we're not going to see an enormous amount of movement here just because it's a drip line but it will start to calculate out how much length we're using what our flow is and we can go from there so that's a drip line works great those are the basics on the irrigation you can do a pretty good system starting from there Let's go into the next video and let's get into some more detail on a little more complex piece.